Hi folks, it's Mike here. I just wanted to make a very quick video of this uh, posting that I'd done about having sequences longer than 16 steps uh, using an analog sequencer. Uh, there were a few questions out there about how I did that, so I thought I'd just show you what I did quick. So here's the SQ1 you all have that you're familiar with. Just to show you, the, the mode that I have it in is right now is this parallel mode where both channels are playing A and B at the same time. I have uh, all the steps are active on A and B. I'm using the CVA out and the CVB out, going up to a modular synthesizer here, going to one VCO. This is the oscillator here. It has multiple one volt per octave inputs. So here's one input, here's the next one. There's actually a third one with a knob I'm not using. I'm just using a square wave output. It's going to an amplifier. That amplifier is controlled by one envelope generator. That envelope generator is getting its gate from the uh, channel A gate output right here. And then that goes out to the sound system. So it's the simplest patch imaginable. So I have uh, down here, just run through the buttons. So I have gates active for all eight steps. And remember, it's only channel A's gates that are being used. Uh, right now I have active step on for both channel A and B for all eight steps. And what I want to show you first is that what's happening is this is summing the voltages to make the um, pitch come out of the oscillator. So I'll just start the sequence and you'll hear. So that's A plus B going into this oscillator. If I pull out one of them, I'll get a different set of notes. So you can hear that's just one channel's notes. And I'll put it back in and pull out the other one. So you can hear that A and B have different notes. And when I put them both in, I get A plus B. So it's really that simple. But let's go a little bit further and show you a couple of little tricks here. So because it's A plus B, the reason this thing can generate more than 16 steps is when the A and B are set to different numbers by that table I had posted here, um, you're getting different combinations. So to demonstrate that, Let's uh, start with something simple. Let's start with, uh, say, 5 and 3, which according to our table, so I'm just deactivating steps, 5 on the top, 3 on the bottom. According to our table, 5 and 3 should give me 15 notes. So let's hear if that's true. And in fact, it is true. Let me shorten this uh, gate a little bit make it a little bit easier for you to hear that, I'll put slide on the first step. Okay, so you can hear that there's definitely 15 steps in that sequence. Now when the uh, number of steps is uh, an odd number, it doesn't matter which step you start on, you're always going to get the same 15 notes. So let me just prove that that's true by going down to the step jump mode here. Start on step one. Okay, so you heard what that was. Now let's just start the sequence on the second one. Same set of notes. And third one, same set of notes again. And I'll show you something interesting here. If you have an even number, like four and two, um, you'll get different sequences depending on which step you start on. So let's start on the first one and we'll hear this. Four and two will give us a sequence of four notes. But if I start on the second step instead of the first one, it's a different four notes. And if you think about it, it makes sense because it's adding these together. So that gets pretty interesting if I go over and I make, say, six and four, which is also an even number. And six and four in the table is going to give us a 12-step sequence. So let's go start on step one. Okay, now let's start on step two. Clearly different. Now let's start on step three here. Different again, and step four. 
different again. And I think the uh, way I'll finish this up is just to show you the long one. So 8 and 7 gives us, according to the table, uh, a 56-step sequence. So let's see if that happens. It's going to be pretty long. And again, to make it a little easier to hear, I'll put slide on the first step here. Okay, hope that that uh, demonstrates. If you got any questions, just you know, go ahead and post them, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, you can put this into different modes other than parallel. I saw somebody post a video with the back and forth one. Uh, that will obviously work. Um, the zigzag one will do something interesting. I haven't actually looked at it um, to see what the sum of the voltage is going to be. So, and I do not use MIDI myself. I own only using analog voltages. So if anybody's using MIDI, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, maybe through a DAW, what uh, MIDI notes are coming out with these kind of settings and see if it's actually summing up the MIDI notes to do that. I don't know if it does or not. All right, take care.